Welcome back to Factorio and our little tutorial series doing SpaceX. And I'm willing to admit somebody's yelled at me in the comments and I'm pre-recording because as you know if you watch the update video, I am also suffering from the YouTube adpocalypse. And I'm forcing to basically record everything about a week in advance. Um, which has led to a few interesting corruption, no, interesting problems. One being that I have enough recorded. Two being that um, I don't always get to read your comments till like well after what I've done has been done, and it's not as fun for me. But I forgot to double the gear machine for the red science. So if you look at our science build, the reds are only getting to so far before they dried up. Because um, yeah, I, I, I sort of forgot to build one. Um, but we still have a massive um, problem with productivity modules, both in green science, which is getting built, and in the labs. No, labs are done. Labs are done. So just speed modules for the labs. Um, I'm thinking about trimming the speed modules, uh, the, the the beacons off the end, um, to try and make sure that the the, the Speed beacons, uh, the yeah, the speed modules end up in the early ones, um, but the catch with that is, in theory, our um, beakers, beakers. Let's call them beakers. Our beakers should end up all the way along our whole lab layout because that's how they were originally. Um, yeah, I need more screen space. So, net machine zero. But we're now producing five per second. Um, but as soon as this research finishes, we're going to stop doing research. Because I notice a lot of our green circuits, uh, red circuits, are being chewed up by blue sites. And we need red circuits to make modules. So, that's what we're waiting on. Done. All right. So that's done. Um, in the meantime, um, I noticed yet another problem, which which this one's been up and, and nobody's commented on at all. Um, all the way, it's a long way away. Thank God for game speed level two. Uh, we run all the way through our power station, all the way over to this train station and I missed the signal. Which meant trains would just sit here if there was ever a train in this station. Which there is often a train in this station. The other thing I boo booed is um, that was going and feeding into this one. Which was slowing it down. Not a lot, but a little bit. And look, it's an outpost. You want to get them emptied as fast as possible. Uh, come on. We just want to clean up all the miners we can. Uh, didn't even see where that one had resources. Obviously not. Just going on which ones have a stopped animation. I'm probably missing some, but that's fine. Yeah, you've got resources at this end, you just can't output fast enough. Oh, run all the way up the whole bank to run all the way back down again. And stay off the train track, JD. See, you know, train track never ends well. Okay. So we got plenty of resources coming. Oh, no. Well, we, we do have. We've got plenty of resources coming in. We just can't smelt them fast enough to get green circuits fast enough, to get red circuits fast enough, to get uh, modules fast enough. So, we're going to do two things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I don't have a power problem by finding our landfill outpost, which is here. And empty my inventory as I go. Well, try and run through this 
whilst looking at the map. Uh, set that to zero. Set that to auto trash. And dump that one out. Hope there's no trains, no trains, no trains. Excellent. Uh, just try and dump all the stuff we don't need. I don't need two sets of steel chests. Okay, we're in the network. Uh, come on, bots. Come pick stuff up. Faster. Stand beside central storage. That always speeds things up. Where are the bots? There is 70 of them coming from some far distance corner of the map to come empty my inventory. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. All that. All that. I'm trying to just maximize the space in the inventory. Uh, I don't know why I'm requesting 200, but let's, 100's more than enough. Uh, big power poles. That's plenty. Little power poles. 250. Ah, it's a little bit of overkill. I obviously set it higher for a big construction build and haven't turned it back down. Uh, belt, down to 500. Uh, fast inserters. Uh, um, you know what? Maybe we're going to dump some blue circuits. Because the power arm is pretty much done. Uh, what to do with this 200? I really want them in the build somewhere. Alright, that's minimizing the inventory. Come on, bots. Come clearing, finish clearing my, out my inventory. Now we've got some bots moving. Uh, yeah, nothing else I can really get rid of. But our solar grid is going fine. And what I'm actually going to do... Do I get rid of all the miners? No, I've still got 50. Good. Because uh, we're going to drop one of these here. Then we're going to cut off that corner. And we're going to go run to our... No, it's a power pole, not a rock. Uh, we're going to run without getting hit by a train. At least always, that's what always what the plan is. Uh, pull up that bit of belt. We're going to run to our outpost that carries just a tiny bit of stone. Is there a tree anywhere near me? Um, probably not. Is there... A bit of coal. Just a bit of coal. I'll do it. Uh, load that up. Load that up. Because landfill you use an astronomical rate. Uh, so we're going to drive over to Crunch... Found something to hit. Of course it did. I'm driving a car. Um, we're going to drive over and we're going to just apply just a tiny bit of landfill. Thank you, bots. Um, that'd be too convenient if I had a Logibot on me. Are there Logibots in this network? Five. Five. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> we're going to get crazy with landfill. Because this lake is in my way. And with all tycoons of, of, of progress, um, natural waterways get filled in. Alright? Alright. We're planning on and sticking this not staying on this planet, so if a small lake gets in the way, um, it can go. 
Uh, and as you can see, just a tiny bit of landfill was used in the filling of this lake. So this is why I always recommend making outposts and making a landfill outpost. Just find a nice patch of stone. Uh, and if you're using bots, use an active provider and a bunch of storage. If you're using belts, just feed it in as fast as you can and pull it out and stack it in quite a few boxes um, to get rid of lakes that sometimes get in your way. Like that one did. Alright, drive out of here. Well, there's another lake. Whilst we still have landfill left. Done. And yes, I know I've left my bots behind. I know I'm infamous for that very act. But like, eventually they'll get back to me. Hi, train. We're going to stop here. We're going to leave the landfill. No, we'll put landfill in our inventory. We will auto trash landfill. Uh, and actually, I'm going to speed up the poor bots process by putting that straight in there. Uh, but now we've done that. We can bring the solar blueprint back up and we can drop that down and we'd say right there. Put down a radar. Uh, where'd that blueprint go? With another one there and another one there and we can't see this corner. So. Put down another radar, and that'll keep the bots busy for almost forever. Uh, we'll have a car, and we'll take a ride home. Thank you very much. I do not want 65 fish either. Uh, how much you got to load? A lot. Actually, no, we don't want a ride home. Because uh, we need a new landfill outpost. Because that one pretty much got decimated. So conveniently enough, there's a little bit of stone left over. Uh, nope. Uh, actually, how big is a... Really? I don't have a single substation. Are there bots? Bring me substation. Auto trash. Turn off wood. You come to get stuff that doesn't exist. But if you bring me a substation, I promise I will be happy and thankful forever, bots. Bring me some substations. Because I'd really like to know whether I can power this with a substation. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to put one of them there. With a bunch of stack in oops, stack inserters, uh, a bunch of output, uh, some steel chests. Actually, we might do it that way. We'll have three in, one out, double storage. Substation? Hey, substations. No. No, I can't power them with just substations. Oh, I can. Alright, fine. Substation... There. And... Substation there. Pull those up. Substation...
because these guys cover one square on either side, they'll actually get under the substation. Which works for me. Uh, which then means I can run this side hard up against that side. Uh, and we're out of minus. Okay. Obviously 50 minus was not enough. Uh, one line. Two lines. Pole there and there and there. Substation down here, please. You are to make landfill and stack and setters go crazy. Alright. Uh, we need more miners. You I've raided, you I've raided, you I haven't raided. And neither have I you. Okay. So we're going to go down to these irons mines right now and raid uh, more miners bit by bit. You, 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 you. Uh, you can see down the bottom right hand corner what their expected resources are. If that's blank, um, it means they're good to go. Um, if there's belts sticking out and they don't have any resources on it, like none of those guys do, they're all good to go as well. Expected uh, resources, zero. It helps even, even more if, if they're actually currently working, and then you can just check to see um, which ones are moving or not. Uh, that whole side's done. That corner one's done. Alright. Substation, there and there. Alright, you shall make landfill. In massive quantities. Uh, and same story, I will double up the output. Um, now, these guys chew so much stone and craft so quickly, you can literally, and I've done it multiple times, surround this thing on all four sides with a blue belt taking stone in and just have one guy just one guy outputting and daisy chain it through as many boxes as you need to um, that's our production and that's our consumption um, we're pro yeah, consuming 3.1k stone right, per minute um, 250 per second uh, I've I've with a couple of speed modules I've been up to 20k before which just choose through any resources to get in the way um, it then becomes a how quickly can we mine it situation not a how quickly can we spend it situation oh. um, really that whole rose gun You two rows? No. Hmm. No, I can't really get more throughput because you've narrowed down to two belts. So those two belts are running as flat out as possible. Which is not using enough stone at this, uh, enough iron at this end. Uh, which may be a project for an upcoming episode. Trying to use resources faster. Oh. Alright. Our belt is maxed out. We are producing green chips as fast as we can can pretty much. Our reds are being slowed down a little bit. Are we out of Yeah, power's off because I actually disabled it. 
Hey, we have spare modules. All right. Uh, so now let's do the top row. We want assembler twos and fast inserters. And we just want to shop all the way through. And that's the blueprint. Yeah, got to get everything lined up. Yep. Nope. That went bad. Alright, try again. Try again, JD. There. Uh, you're missing power. I think you're meant to be missing power, actually. Let's confirm by putting that one there. Yes, you're meant to be missing power. At least on the first one. Um, cancel that blueprint. Make a new one. There to there. Paste. 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 Paste, paste. The joys of robots. Alright. So that's that done. Now, production-wise, green circuits. One minute. You can see... Well, one hour. You can see we came down because of the productivity modules. Overall. Alright. Which is a bit of an issue. Alright. Um, but we're actually using less copper and less iron. Alright, if you remember, a, well, let's just do a half column. So a half column was set up to use three belts of copper at red belt speed. So that's 70 odd copper per second. And one belt of, uh, one and a half belts of iron. So that's about 50 iron per second. And we've dropped that down to a red belt of each by adding productivity modules. And we've dropped our output as well. All right. Um, so that's something we've got to keep in mind. But it does mean that providing this is not in the way, which it is, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so you're now finished. Uh, we're going to go like... You know, like that. And a red chest there. Fill it, please. And. Nope. Like that. Okay. Um, providing this is not in the way, which of course it is, because that's how Factory works. Uh, so we can get rid of all of this part of the build. Because we're going to pick this up and move it and put it back down out of our way. That's the bit we want. That we don't want. Still miss some. That's alright. Hold down right click. Remove the bits you don't want. Hit OK. Double check. Uh, up two random belts. Down the bottom corner. Done. Alright. Uh, deconstruction planner. All of that, please. Which is going to fill my inventory, but that's fine. Because we're going to pop this. Um, where are we going to pop this? We're going to pop it... We're going to pop it actually all the way over here. Well and truly out of the way. Uh, we'll need to extend the robot port network. But that's fine. And all we're going to do is take... Uh, that chest, 
that way. And bring it up to here. Uh, Alright, why for you not have power? These chests fill. Oh, well, you are not actually requesting. Please request in shit uranium. 4K the stuff. Uh, you are requesting the good stuff. Good. Have some good stuff. And that'll restart the process when it kicks in. Uh, Yeah, lots of bots charging. Um, I should probably help. Have that. Alright, so bad uranium is back up and running. It's on its continuous loop. Good uranium is being requested in. And... Um... Actually, we just need the process to start. So we basically need all these bots to dump the stuff where it belongs. Uh, I'll put that robo port there. the radar down there because now that we've reduced the amount of uh, resources we need to feed one side of this we'll feed the other side after those um, modules get placed we can now upgrade the whole system so we have one of these here and one of these here we are outputting that there we're bringing that straight through and that straight through uh, oh. uh, demolish those. Because we want the modules in this blueprint. Oh, and I can change the recipe after the fact, as long as the new recipe also accepts the modules. Uh, blue belt. Okay. We want this abomination. Abomination it says it's been brilliant up to this point. Uh, okay, we want that and that. Uh, we want that being copied over, that being copied over. Whoops, your output there. We want blue belt from there um, to there I guess. Um, will you actually use Upgrade Planner and get all this stuff done? Just so it's all uniform, all blue belt. Mm. No, I'll put these closer together because we can. And blue belt's really expensive. <coughs> uh, you need to go up. Stop moving me belts. Alright, so there, there, and there. Alright, so we've made the whole build a tiny bit smaller. but we can't fit beacons in this one. All right, let's scratch that. That seemed like a good idea at the time, but we're going to want beacons. Uh, so in that case, we will grab... Okay, we're going to use Upgrade Planner to make sure the outside belts are also blue because we just don't have any red belts being produced anymore. 
Uh, we're going to grab a whole build from there to... No. There. To there. Yep. Now we've cleaned the uranium out of the way. We can just pop this down end to end. Oops. Do not stand anywhere near a belt, JD, when placing large blueprints. Uh, oh, there. 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 I ain't keep any landfill. About right. Uh, web report network. Bring you out further and bring you out further again. Because we want all this to stay inside the construction network. And I want some landfill, please. Because circuit builds are always your biggest builds. Always, always, always. Um, what are we waiting on? We're waiting on speed modules. Well, they would have got eaten up. Uh, does this even need speed modules anymore? Probably not. And we've made a loop between the passive provider and the requester chest. So we need to turn off this requester chest. Um... We need to ensure... Whoops. Don't rearrange my inventory bots. That's red. Uh, that's blue, rather. That's blue. Make sure all of that's blue belt. All the way back to there. Same with all of this. Because um, we need the maximum throughput to make sure it gets as close to the end as possible. Um, these guys are going to have to be moved, don't forget. So there's a lot of tweaking going on. Uh, or tweaking to be done. Uh, auto trash, really? No, I'm not auto trashing. No, there's the landfill. Alright. Basically want to come as far as my train track. No further than that. Say so goodbye to 800 landfill. Quick and easy as that. Uh, that one, that one, that one. Not even worth it for half a build. Alright. So, control N. That is. 31 items to about here. Is that about halfway? That is about halfway. So we want our splitter in there. Have 10,000 10, solar panels placed at once. Woohoo! Double check. This is a straight belt. That's a straight belt. We are pulling off them, but that's besides the point. Okay. Oops. So if I do that, we'll chop that one all the way back to there. Uh, iron. Good question. How much iron? That's the halfway point. Do we use to that point? 24. So about a red belt's worth. So same story. I need to copy and paste this majestic little thingy I built. Um, because I built it once. I don't need to work out how to build it a second time. And put it 
here. I don't know there. Alright, so we're going to pull up all of that. Uh, special little belt thingamajiggy bob. Nope. All of that has to go as well. Uh, okay. And then we just got to get iron in. Which, of course, is on the other side of the road before. By one whole square. planner all that red belt please uh, we're going back to blue over Roboport over the uranium belt uh, I don't know whether I can leap that in a single I can I can leap that in a single bound I feel like Superman okay the iron's just not making it this far as it is. Because we're still using some red belts. No more red belts, please. Blue the whole way. Okay. Blue belt, blue belt, blue belt, blue belt. Through the wiggly whelp that's now gone. Blue belt. Yeah, we've still got some feeding here before we feed it back to a single... Uh, before we feed it with the with the extra line. Same with the copper. We've got some making it, and then we feed it with the extra line. And that won't make it to the end currently, because we don't have the speed module, uh, the productivity modules in place. Currently, what's that? 59? So that's... That's a belt and a half of iron, and the same story with the copper. Now, when I add speed modules, again... These redundant belts that I've cut off, right, will need to be re-replaced. Where they get placed is depending on what speed these assemblers come out at. Um, but now we know what we're doing mostly. We can go cut, cut, uh, cut. Uh, trim you right the way back. Same as the other one. Uh, we can then bring... no. Upgrade planner. We can change all that red belt. Uh, to blue, that's got to be changed over. Still some red belt hidden in there somewhere. Good, that's happy. Uh, okay. Bring you straight through to here. Great. I chose the hardest place in the world to join. Alright. So where's copper joining? Anywhere there. So let's put our copper join here. And bring you all the way back. And boom. Iron's done. Copper's done. Green circuit production. Oh, it went way up for a second there. That's always a good sign. Probably until it emptied the belts. Um, where, where do you need two red undergrounds? That worries me. How about that? Here somewhere. 
Uh, my we rejoined me? No, that's all blue. Alright, stand still. They're all reds. Oh, well, we put a power pole down there. There's inside construction range, so a bot will take care of that for me. Uh, no. Is it part of this build? No, that's all blue. That needs to go away. Uh, ha ha! Done. Two in there somewhere, which were just leftover blueprints from I don't know. Me blueprinting randomly stuff. Um. So reds are backed up to there. We're now producing speeds ever so slowly and productivities. Um, partly probably because of more green chips. Yep, these belts are now fully backed up. Um, and partly because science has been turned off. Um, which means more resources overall going into the network. Yeah, we still need 400 and 100. 150, so we've got a way, way to go yet, but we're on our way. Uh, you've stopped because you've made your 100. So we're going to put that in there. And then I lost my active provider. I used it. Uh, you need to be changed to... Okay, so we got a dry dock structure. That's the next one we need to build. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, I got uh, too too many. Uh, I need to request a chest. And dry dock structure. So honestly, we want you to be connected. And I forgot to account for the two last time. So dried up structure is eight. How many do you need and how long do you take? 50 seconds, 200. Ah, uh, that sounds like a stack insert problem. Yeah, now we just need to actually produce them. Are we producing them? Uh... Yes, that's the one that doesn't require any circuit construction. That one will get produced. Ever so slowly. So, no, we'll, we'll wait. We'll launch these very much manually because I don't want to overdo things. Alright, I don't need all the copper in my inventory. I don't need the green circuits. I don't need all the iron. Um... Okay, and a dry dock assembly component needs. Can we've got all those? It's the same story. We'll do a request a chest. We'll do assembly component, and because I know you stock two in your thing, we'll do it that way. Turn that one off, and then I'll turn that one into. Um, where is it? No, it's with a rocket. Low density structures. 400, because 400 fills a box. So we should have solar panels. Yeah, we've got plenty of solar panels in the network. Um, we have 1.3 thousand red circuit, uh, blue circuits being delivered. Only needs to be 400. Um, all the robots have been, ooh. Hang on. One, two. Okay. Might have overdone things a little bit. Alright, we're going to pick that one up, we're going to pick that one up, and we're going to put both those in there. Launch. Rocket control units. Always with the rocket control units. Uh, I want that one. Item on ground. Pick those up. 
and then let's see how many made it to the belt. None on this end of the belt. Really? Ah, there they are. Need yeah, they get here eventually. Thank you. So we're still missing rocket control units, which are limited by red circuits. Just one of those. By the time the red circuits get all the way down here, being stolen by all three modules, there's not a lot left. Um, but we are producing modules, so win some, lose some. Um... Probably not a bad idea. How much do rocket control units use? Rocket control units use one processing and one speed. And speed uses five red, five green. Yeah, so they're not big consumers. Um, okay, we're better off getting the productivity modules done in green circuits first. Um, because that looks a lot healthier already. We're up to 9,000. Yeah, so we're slowly going up. We'll get green circuits done. And then we'll start looking at productivity modules for our red circuits. Which means, again, build's got to be rearranged. Um, but that's fine. Normally, we, we, we do all this bot-based. Um, but to give myself a bit of a challenge, I'm doing everything on belts, which is different. Very, very different. Um, yeah, we're just going to rely on this one to swing faster. Uh, we're only at 50%, so we've got a while to go. What are you missing? Bunch of solar panels. Um, and you're making a dried up assembly component. You're the one we need two of. You're the one we needed eight of. Okay. I don't feel so bad now. I thought I'd really be good. Uh, dry dock structural component is eight. Less than. Dig those out. Put them back in there. Confirm I got my less than and greater than around the right. Yeah, I do. Good. Good, because I don't want it just chewing resources for the fun of it. Um, you're done with those. So we can clear that request and physically just dump those in there. Yep, we're getting there. Getting there, bit by bit. And we will get there a bit more in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one. Um, where hopefully we start actually launching some of these components off into space. Um, but we'll see what happens in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you'll find on the left hand side of the screen will be the subscribe up, up top left somewhere. The Patreon down the bottom left. Um, and on the right hand side you should find... I think the top one is a random video chosen for you guys by the YouTube gods that hopefully you'll enjoy. And the bottom right hand side is the playlist for this uh, particular series. Uh, just in case you've tuned in halfway or you missed an episode or... You know, you want to share it? I appreciate it. Share. Um, same time... As always, down in the comment section, leave me your thoughts. Leave me what, uh, what, what I screwed up. In case I screwed up something I didn't even realise. Uh, along with a random piece of abuse, because, look, it's always appreciated to read something in the comments. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye!